What's up, Bedford? 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 Hello, Bedford. This is your announcement today. I'm Paul, and this is... Shay Shay. Hey. So, you start with... Students, don't forget to buy your student staff volleyball game tickets. Tickets cost $2. It can be bought during lunch hours. They can be also bought in A31 with Miss Johnson or A45 with Miss Clucky. Tickets will not be sold at the door and will be required to leave 7th hour after attendance is taken. Baseball. High school boys interested in playing baseball, please scan the QR code located outside the ISS room or an athletic department lobby to enter your info prior to open workouts conditioning. Off-season high school baseball open workouts will start on January 9th, 23, New Year, man. Well, this will be held at 2.45 p.m. and 4.15 p.m., Monday through Thursday on the West Shelf on the competitive gym. Douglas J. Aveda Institute will be here Thursday, January 31st at 9.30 a.m. Please sign up by Monday, January 30th in the counseling office if you are interested in attending. All right, everybody, charge your Chromebook. Uh, students, students, it's your responsibility to charge your Chromebook before coming to school each day. If there is a problem with this, please see Mr. Schumas or in the media center, please. And with the cold front coming from the break, like people who let, let, leave their uh, Chromebooks in the car, people should stop doing that because it just stops like working. Just go down. Esports. There will be a Rocket League esport team this winter. This season will start at the end of January and run into April. There will be an informational meeting at Mason Senior High School at 5 p.m. on January 9th. Please sign up on Schoology if interested. Holiday Spirit Week. Wednesday on December 21st, today, ski day, dress like you're going skiing. Hats are allowed, but no other props. Thursday, December 22nd, Ugly Holiday Sweater Day. And there's a, there will be a donut sale December 22nd from 7 to 7.30. Stop by the media center in the main lobby before school and purchase a freshly baked, baked donut for $2. Tutors needed. Anyone interested in becoming a tutor at, after school, please contact Mrs. Tennant in the media center or Mr. Garman at L athletic office. Driver's Ed. Michigan Driver's Education Curriculum is split into two segments and is required for all teen drivers under age 18. For information, please visit Community Ed on the Bedford website. You can register online or in person at the Community Ed office. And that is it for your Bedford announcements. It's that time of year again, Holiday Spirit Week. That's the last from December 19th through the 22nd. On the 19th, it's Holiday Pajama Day. Wear your festive pajamas. December 20th is Holiday Color Day. Grades 9 through 10 wear green, and grades 11 through 12 wear red. On the 21st, it's Ski Day. Dress like you're going skiing. Hats are allowed, but no props. Do I wear props? No. Ah! Last day on the 22nd, it's Ugly Holiday Sweater Day. Look at my sweater! Oh, sorry. Bedford students, remember to dress your best for Spirit Week. Mule out! Hello, this is your holiday movie of trivia. I'm your disembodied narrator, and this is uh, Hunter, Janice, and Shayla. Your first question is, in a Christmas story, what present does Ralphie want more than anything for Christmas? The White House. It is not the White House. Uh, a sled. It is not a sled. A bicycle. For his father to come home, because doesn't he walk? A Wasn't Red it? Rider BB gun. Oh. In the Christmas story, what happens to Ralphie's friend Flick at school? He gets bullied. He does not get bullied. He gets in trouble. His tongue gets stuck to, stuck to a flagpole. So that's a movie Never that's from. Movie. Who is the actor who plays Buddy, the El in, Buddy in the movie The Elf? Will Ferrell. Ray Will Ray Ferrell. Ferrell, good job. In the movie Elf, what song do people sing to raise the amount of Christmas spirit? Santa Claus is coming to town. Correct. What are the four main food groups for elves? Candy canes. Spaghetti with syrup. <laughs> Hot chocolate? I will give you the syrup because you said it. It is not spaghetti with syrup, it is simply just syrup. You have candy and syrup. Sorry, you have candy canes and syrup. I gave cookies. you an answer. You have three. You have candy, candy canes, and syrup. Is cookies the third? Cookies is not one of them. Milk. You have one more. Milk. What is
is the most hated type of candy on the planet? Candy corn. What? Candy corn. <laughs> candy corn. That I is your final candy food corn. group. Candy corn. Me too. What is the candy name of the comedian who plays the Grinch? What? Jimmy. Jim. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yes. Jimmy. <laughs> what are the two reasons why the Grinch? Why, what were the two alternative reasons why the Grinch was mean? He lived on the top of a mountain or something? It is not because he lived on top of a mountain. Because he wasn't loved. His shoes were tight. That is one. His shoes were too tight. What is the other? Oh, boy, I don't know. It rhymes with it, though. It does rhyme with it. His head was not screwed on right. Oh. What is the Grinch's dog's name? Max. It is Max. What Christmas movie has the line, Christmas doesn't come from a store, maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more? Uh, jingle all the way? It is not jingle all the way. Here's a hint. I was just asking you about the movie. A Christmas story? No. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> oh. How many different roles does Tom Hanks voice in the Polar Express? Oh, Eight? Chris. Seven? Seven. Oh. He voices like half what that movie. What Christmas present did Santa give the hero boy in the Polar Express? A bell. It's a, a bell. bell. What is the name of Ebenezer Scrooge's business partner? Uh, uh, Bob Saget. It's not Bob Saget. It <laughs> sounds actor. similar. Sounds too similar to Bob Saget. Oh, I don't know. Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. In A Christmas Story, how many ghosts in total visit Scrooge? Three. No. What? It is not three. Four. It is four. Past? Jacob Marley. Past, present, ah, and future. Jacob. In A Nightmare Before Christmas, you're not allowed to answer, how many doors does Jack see? Uh, there's a bunch of doors. How many... Can I answer? How many holiday doors does Jack see? Can I answer? Seven. It is not seven. It's... Yes, you can it's answer. It's four. In Die Hard, what is John McClane's profession? What does he do for a living? Never seen I feel movie. like he's an assassin. Know. He is. He's, he is not. <laughs> well. Just from the name of the movie. Um, <laughs> he's a police officer. No, Russia. That's weird. I've never seen that movie before. All right. Never seen it. I, I don't know which of you got the most points, but that is the end of your holiday winner, trivia. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi. Hello. Welcome back to your daily weather. Let's get on to it. Woo. No, you do Wednesday. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so Wednesday we have a high of 32, which isn't that high, and a low of 28. It's going to be mostly cloudy and no Jesus. precipitation. Jesus. Just wait till tomorrow, folks. We're going to have a high of 39 and a low of, hear me out, 6 degrees. We're going to have just a bit of snow and rain with an 84% chance for precipitation and a storm total for about 10 to 6 inches. Then it gets Friday. worse on Friday, I guess. A high of 16, my hat. And a low of, hear me out again, 5. It'll, it'll, it'll be very windy with snow and 1 to 3 inches and an 89% chance of precipitation. Saturday, we will have a high of 11 and a low of 6. And a little bit of snow at times, with a high precipitation chance of 88 degrees. That'll be your Christmas Eve weather. A disclaimer for that last clip, I have never seen Die Hard. Have a good day. See ya!